Hello and welcome back to yet another quant solution. This is once again one of those questions where you should not get scared by seeing the equation, seeing the number and just step by step taking small approximations, try and solve it. Alright, so what do we have? We have a number x minus under root of 10 that is between 0 0.020 0 and 0 0.021. We have a different expression and we need to see which place will it lie. Alright, 1 by under root 10 minus 1 by x. This is our expression. If we simplify it further, x minus root 10 by x under root 10. So, this you would notice is a number that is here. So, you might ask a question that how do you know we need to do this? See, the idea is that you should develop a sense of seeing equations, seeing the part from where it would come from. This would come definitely from practice, but you should always be watchful for it. You should be purposefully looking for such patterns. So, what do we have? That this number is between these two numbers, all right? So, this can be what? Say, for example, point zero two, uh, zero two zero one, something like that. So, this is greater than point zero two zero and less than point zero two one, all right? Something on these lines. Now, x under root 10, how do we get, derive that from? So, can we use this equation for the same? Maybe we can. So, if you put this under root 10 on both the side, you add here and add here. So, you get the value of x and then under root 10. Alright. So, see what happens here is uh, if you take this equation here, we put x and uh, on both the side, we add under root 10, under root 10 plus 0 0.02 plus 0 0.021. Now, what is the value of under root 10? It would be somewhere greater than 3, 3 point something. So, if on 3 point something you add 0 0.02, will that create much of a difference? I believe not. So, x can be safely approximated to under root 10. And so, what do we have? x can be approximated to under root 10. We already have under root 10 here. So, this becomes 0 0.0201 divided by 10, which effectively gives us 0 0.00201. So, something on the lines of option C. So, the C becomes our answer. So, yeah, what skills are being tested here? Effectively, your ability to not get scared by the numbers and always have that mindset in each of GMAT quant question that this question can be solved by the information that you already know, a bit of approximation here and there, but you should always, always have that mindset that this can be solved, not get scared. So, first we took this expression, we simplified it, what we saw that we have a part of this expression from here. We saw that the numbers are very close, so we can take some approximations. We took a case here, we took approximations here. So that way, step by step, you can solve almost each and every quant question. Thanks.